You're listening to the Eagles Chat podcast episode number 1. Thank you very much for tuning in. I am really excited that you're here today. I hope that you'll be able to learn a lot and put everything that we're going to learn into practice. On today's episode, I'm actually really excited. I'll take you through what authentic leadership means and how you can learn every day as you lead. We are going to look into why the best leaders are actually learners. And throughout, we are actually going to see how learning can take place through your leadership. I hope today will be fun. I hope we're going to have an exciting moment. Thank you again for tuning in. You are listening to the Eagles Chat podcast. Where we strongly believe that everyone can lead. can lead. Leadership enthusiasts and trainer Jocelyn Sigwa will help you to redefine what authentic leadership looks like. And it is time to hear from the experts and listen from honest conversations. If you want to lead with the authentic ability and to deliver results, just to be your best as a leader, you are in the right place. Here is your host, educator and fitness junkie Jocelyn Sigwa. Well, learning. Huh. Um I think we are very much um aware that learning can take place in different forms and it can come in different ways. Sometimes it is spontaneous, it happens naturally, and sometimes it is intentional. Um when a baby is born, it starts crawling, it starts speaking, it will say mama, baba, dada, and then it will one day you'll find your child going to school and then there is the graduation and then finally some day he gets married and then the cycle comes over all over again now as much as it is natural for growth to come spontaneously when we speak of our physical when we speak of our physique the learning in our ma- in our minds and in our mental ability does not come very easily that way it has to be intentional when it is intentional that is where there is rapid growth and rapid improvement throughout our lives in our work and even in our careers if there's an area that you are seeking to improve if there's an area that you are dying to get better at you need to learn intentionally so i know that we've heard of this a number of times but today i want to speak intensively on how we can grow intentionally when we are leaders The first thing, the first thing comes and maybe you've guessed this, this comes with reading. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you something. When you stop growing, you start rotting, just like a fruit. And so, if you choose to make time to read, I know we are leaders. I know there's always a lot happening, there's a lot going on in our lives, but we need to make time to read. And it might be difficult to read an entire book. How about if you read articles every day? How about if you listen to podcasts like this one? That could also be helpful. Um reading, the best thing I love about reading is that it reminds you There are things that yes you already know but when you are consistently reading you have the most important information at the top of your mind and that allows you to be very effective. The other thing I really love about uh committing yourself to read is that it makes you an interesting person. Have you ever met someone and you've had a conversation with them and it was just dull? <laughs> um Some people don't know what to say when they are conversating with people. Some people just talk about themselves. Some people are really not interesting. But when you're a person who loads your brain with information, you're always full of the right content to share at the right time. And that is very effective for your leadership. You'll be able to influence your people. You'll be able to understand how to communicate with them in a way that inspires them, motivates them and brings the best out of them. If you want to improve your communication, if you want to effectively reach your message to your people, you have to read. I know I get it. We're in a community in a culture where reading is just It's just for fun. But until we take reading seriously, then our leadership is going to be on point. Now that's the first thing, reading. Um the other ways that we could really learn is through listening. I know, I am surprised too. Listening is hard, <laughs> especially for people who talk a lot like me. <laughs> when 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 we speak of listening, it's actually beyond hearing what the other person is saying. So I'm going to throw in two quick questions here. Uh maybe let's let's go it let's take it this way. One. Do you think do you think you're a good leader? Two. Do you think 
your people would say the same thing about you. If, um, if you say you're a good leader, do you think your people think that you're a good leader? I know, I also have doubts. <laughs> the answer should always be a resounding yes, right? But if we pay attention, sometimes the people we are leading communicate how we are leading. And until we take time to really listen to their feedback, then we can really know in what position we are. And the kind of listening that I'm talking about today, um, psychologist calls it the third ear listening. This listening is is listening to your people beyond what they are saying and how they are saying it. It is listening to the unspoken words. It is listening and, take, and paying attention to the atmosphere that is there. You need to listen to the words that are unspoken. Now, real quick, I'm going to share three tips that will allow you to listen with the third ear. Every time you are involved in a conversation, you should always listen for content, meaning, and the feeling in what the other person is saying. Avoid interrupting. I know this is difficult. I know this is a challenge, especially if you're an extrovert, but you need to try. The second tip is that you should always listen to understand, listen to see, listen to help, and listen to support, not to comment, disagree, or find fault in what the other person is saying. You need to tune your mind to do that, and yes, it takes practice to really reach this level of conversating, but you'll get there. Um, the final thing is that if the conversation makes you feel angry, uh, you know, those kinds of conversations, try your best to consistently tell yourself inside your heart that you have to look at this in the positive way. I love it how they say that no matter how thin you slice it, there will always be two sides. So even if it looks ugly, even if the person is throwing offensive words, even if the conversation is making you feel frustrated, try to look at it on the positive side. Now, the final thing that I want us to look at is acting. This is where powerful learning takes place. My father loves to tell me that no matter how many books you read about swimming, you'll never learn how to swim unless you really swim. So yes, we're going to learn all these things. Yes, we'll try to pay attention and listen to what our followers are telling us, but it's all no use if we do not put to practice what we are learning. So I'm encouraging you today, practice what you learn. See what you can do from what you learn. Every time you learn something, ask yourself, how can I use this? Where can I use this? Should I try this in the next meeting? Should I try this in the next project? Try to use what you learn as much as you possibly can. So finally, I want to simply say that if you grow, everything grows for you. Just know that nobody can learn for you. Nobody can do the work for you. Nobody is going to grow for you. Be obsessed about it. Choose to grow every day. Ask yourself, how can I improve from this? Every day is an opportunity to learn something and until you leverage that, you will be unstoppable. Thank you very much. You made it to the end. That is very exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to having you to the next episode. Our next episode will be aired in the next weekend. I hope I'll see you there. Thank you very much.